Yay, another boring ransomware video. This one's even way behind schedule because I first saw this ransomware a long time ago. It's probably been more than a week since then. But the reason I wasn't making the video is because this ransomware is different. It has some mystery about it. And over the last week or so, I've been trying to unravel the mystery, trying to get some of the pieces out. But I'm sorry, guys, I couldn't do it. So I still don't have an explanation, but I think you're going to find this really interesting. So what this ransomware does is very different from what we see from traditional ransomware. I'm not sure if it's intended to do this. I have tried to look at the code and reverse engineer a bit of it. It's possible that this kind of behavior only occurred because of the testing in the virtual machine and you would see a different result on a real system. But I have never seen this kind of a reaction of a ransomware in a virtual environment before. As you noticed, it has like a detection ratio of 39. It's, it's picked up by most engines now. But here is the fun part. Let's see what happens when we execute this. First, nothing surprising, right? It says computer hijacked, read this carefully and follow steps to pay the Bitcoin ransom. It seems like this is one of those threatening kind of ransomware like the FBI ransomware that calls you a criminal because that's not hypocritical at all and says that that's the reason why your data has been encrypted and the way to fix it is to pay a fine. This is obviously not true. I mean, there are a lot of um, scams based on this kind of model. But this particular threat seems to suggest that it is because of your behavior in seeking out illegal content on the deep web, whatever, you know, your computer has been locked down. And this is the behavior that I was talking about. See, it, it just happened. I didn't even do anything. So your screen just completely goes black and you cannot do anything. That's like the black screen of death. As you can see, I can't do anything. I can see my cursor, but this is the um, host machine cursor. So on a real system, you wouldn't see any cursor, presumably, because the virtual machine seems to have gone into the blackness of space. Now the machine is completely unresponsive. Even if I try to say, insert control alt Dell, as you will see, it does nothing. So no matter what keys you press, what you do, you just get stuck with the screen. And guess what happens when you restart the system? You see the nice Windows logo and it starts to load, but then, boom, black screen again. Absolutely nothing. I'm pretty sure this is not some kind of overlay because if it was, you would at least see the locking in screen and then it would take some time to start up and then you would see the black screen. But from the looks of it, it, it seems like it's much worse than that. I'm guessing it probably attacks the video drivers or deletes some Windows files responsible for this thing, which is kind of ingenuous because I haven't seen anything like this before. And now let's try to reset and try to go into safe mode because that usually works. There we go, F8. And now we should get the recovery options. So this screen does load up. We'll go to advanced repair and we will troubleshoot. And now I'm going to try to reboot in safe mode and see if that changes anything. So let's just go into safe mode. Now usually this would get rid of any malware mischief, but as you can see, the resolution is different, but the screen is still black. Whatever it did, it seems to work in safe mode and safe mode does not run most of the startup programs and services. So, so this is definitely scary. If you're a user and this happens to you, you're going to freak out. Now I'm going to try startup repair, see if that does anything. Oh, I missed it again. It's really quick in VirtualBox. So now Windows is doing its diagnosis. Let's see if it can detect and fix the problem. 
Startup repair could not repair your PC. So, huh. So as you can probably tell, this ransomware is quite destructive. But the funny thing is, it doesn't do any of the destruction that ransomware is supposed to do in that it doesn't really encrypt any files. It didn't encrypt any files in the shared folder. And by the time that you get the black screen of death, it hasn't encrypted any files on the host system either. Host system in the sense host for the ransomware. So to be honest, I'm kind of confused. I'm not sure what is happening or why it is happening because it doesn't seem to make any sense to me other than like just destroy the computer so malware analysts can't take a look at it. Now I will put this file out there in hybrid analysis. So if any malware analysts are watching, you can get your hands on the sample and do your own RE and uh, let me know what you find. I'm actually quite curious. Feel free to comment down below if you have any ideas. Like, share and subscribe as usual. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.